What a wonderful symbol of Christmas, poinsettias. Today we're at Sherwood Al's with Mark Biggie. Hey, Judy. You even have Christmas music going. We're surrounded by Christmas things and poinsettias. Yep, it's the heart of the Christmas season. So You know, you have so many varieties here. How many did you grow this year? This year we grew over 50, believe oh. it or not. There's just so many out there, all different yeah. color schemes. You know, just a few years ago, I think red was the only one. Yeah, pretty much. When we started growing them, there, weren't, there was red, maybe white, and maybe a pink. But now there's just tons of colors out there. So when you're decorating your home, it can go with any decor that you have. So there's yeah. pinks, reds, whites, mixes all together. Yeah, and we can even paint them. If there isn't one that matches <laughs> your home, we can paint them for you. <laughs> That's great. Now, this is a beautiful one, and you said yeah. it's new this year. Yeah, this one's called Visions of Grandeur. This is brand new for 2006. Um, this is the first time we've ever grown it, and so we're just delighted with how it turned out. It is so beautiful. It's just a sweet one. And then this little pink one down front here. I yeah. love that color. Yeah, this is a new pink this year. This is Christmas time pink. I uh, really like the way um, we've grown that one in a smaller container in a four inch because the blooms are a little bit smaller, mm -hmm. but you just get a massive head of bloom on them. You know, I love this one too, this dark, dark red. Yeah, this is probably my favorite. Um, it's called Pinot Noir, and it's brand new for this year. If you like to decorate your home in a traditional theme, this is great. Nothing like a deep red with the real deep green leaves beneath it. It's a great contrast. It is beautiful. And then this other one down here, this pink one. Yeah, this is one. This is actually a trial. This one doesn't even have a name yet. We grow so many different varieties. Each year we try some that are different. Um, so this one's 804 Pink. Well, that's just a really cool name. Yeah, it's a different name. So we like to bring all sorts of different ones in to try to see if people like them, if mm -hmm. they don't. And that's how we know what we should grow next year. And then there's some other ones down here with multi-flex uh, on their uh, petals. Yeah, this one is called White Glitter, um, so it's, it's, it, there, you can see that there are some different blooms within the plant, and that's just its natural way of kind of reverting. None of them are, um, you know, just grown naturally like that, so it's kind of a neat aspect to them. You know, I referred to it as a petal, and that's incorrect. It's not a petal. It's actually a bract, it, and it is a petal. Well, it's a leaf, actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the flower in itself is in the very heart of the plant, and, uh, but these are just colorful leaves that a draw in nature. They draw the insects, so they pollinate them. Ah. Now, can you show us what we should be looking for when we get a beautiful poinsettia to take home? Yeah, the first thing I like to look for is first you want to look for a real healthy plant. So you want to make sure the leaves are green. They're not yellowing on the inside. They're not dying out. You want a real nice full one. Mm -hmm. You want the bracts to have a lot of color in them. You don't want to be seeing green in them. Um, that means they're not quite ripe yet. Um, so you want to get one with a lot of good color. And should we look at the roots? Is that a good indication? Absolutely. That's one thing that a lot of people are afraid to do, but I really encourage people just to take them, pull them out of the pot. What you want to look for are just like regular plants, a good, healthy, white, thick root with a lot of root hairs. Oh, okay. That's a sign that it's going to last for a long time in your house. And then watering, because I know that a lot of people get nervous about watering them too yeah. much, not enough, and I know that you have some tips. Yeah, the best thing, that's probably the, the most sensitive thing about the poinsettia is getting them watered. Um, a lot of people buy them in a foil wrapper like this, and the key to watering them is make sure you take them out of that wrap. Mm -hmm. Take them over to the sink, water it, let the water run all the way through, drain out before you take it and set it back into the foil. All right. Well, those are wonderful tips, and I know that Al's has this great care tag that you'll take home with your poinsettias so that you'll remember it, put it on the fridge, and then you won't have any um, bad luck with your poinsettias. That's right. There's a lot to remember, you know, what temperatures do they like, what, what, how the watering goes, so it's just a little care sheet that helps you remember all those things. Well, thank you so much. You if you have any other questions, please come down, talk to Mark and his staff at any of the Al's. They have lots of poinsettias to choose from and decorate your home this season. Thank you so much. You bet. Thank you, Judy.